Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, it was very hot here today. Uh, the gym was hot today. Everyone was sweating like crazy. And I said to one of the men, I'll have to drink some electrolytes. He said, I don't drink that. I drink pickle juice. I recover so much faster. So I thought, I'm trying to um, make use of the, the knowledge that I am gaining. So I have some really good pickle juice. It's in some uh, pickles. So I thought, okay, I will try to consume uh, maybe about, uh, I will be crazy. I will be putting this in my, uh, tea, in my, uh, tea, my beautiful teacup. And I said, well, and he was sweating a lot. And I said, how much do you, <laughs> do you drink? And he goes, well, I, I drink the whole jar. I go, wow. But I'm new to this, but I mentioned to you that Alexander the Great, protected his army i don't know why i didn't know about this from disease and they drank vinegar the vinegar was created by the sludge on top of the wine and it had back antibacterial properties i might try to make some of that but in the meantime i will have a tasty half a cup I don't know if I can get a whole half a cup down in one sitting. I love pickles, so uh, tonight's the night. I don't want to tell you what it looks like, but that is okay. If you don't apply what you learn, it is not going to do you any good. All right, well, let me see. He goes, I love pickles. I go, I love pickles too. Actually, that is, I'm surprised. I actually kind of love it. That is not bad. Now, I am not the type to break out in sweats at the gym. I, I don't like to sweat. Okay, this video is stockpile food. Okay, we know things might go down south somehow. We know maybe we should stockpile some food, but food is so expensive and we don't want to spend a, a lot of extra money on food. So I'm going to be stockpiling food that I eat all the time, that's low cost and storable. So today I went to Smart and Final and uh, I was planning on, I had plans. I was planning on looking for some steaks but what I saw is, is this 10 pounds of oatmeal was $11.99. Here it is. Okay, this is, um, there's 10 servings in one pound if you eat a half a cup. But I eat a quarter cup. And I told you guys this, but I want to show you because... I guarantee you, people were going, yeah, 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 I know that, but, um, okay, so I have, so I have probably enough oatmeal till the end of the year. Sometimes I eat it a lot, sometimes I don't, and so when I ground up my oatmeal, I just put it back in here, so one quarter cup oatmeal, some of it's ground, that's okay. Um, I've been putting foil over the top, uh, but really, when you start um, you start making oatmeal stuff, it goes fast. Okay, I like this kind of powdered milk from Walmart. This is $14.98. So, uh, a quarter cup of powdered milk. So, this is a good, so, so something bad happens. Uh, you could get by on one meal a day. This wouldn't be a bad meal. Okay, a quarter cup, approximately. Uh, uh, um, half of a quarter cup. This is why I go through... Uh, oh, I was looking for nuts. And guess what? They were all out of walnuts. 
I was looking for a good deal. This one was from a Walmart and I thought, just get some walnuts. <laughs> get a big bag because if you're going to eat um, oatmeal, so I want a half of a quarter cup of, of walnuts. Uh, I've tried different kinds of nuts, but uh, okay, if, if it's really hard times and you don't have any walnuts, uh, then you know you just you can uh, you one of the things down through the ages is they would make porridge which was uh, walnuts, I mean oatmeal. Uh, you would add more water to make it like a soup. So then, uh, and then uh, the other thing I'm looking for is a good deal on big bags of raisins. And I'm looking for long expiration dates. And I want to add uh, one half but for the food storage, don't worry about the walnuts. Don't worry, don't worry about the raisins. You can go heavier if you want to. But remember, if you're eating this every other day, I mean every day, then, uh, you know, and then one and one half cups water. And this is going to be made in a minute. I also stockpile, I want to stockpile, I think, a case of evaporated milk because, okay, one and a half cups. So now I'm just going to turn this on and I'm going to uh, make a little batch of oatmeal. But this is the good stuff, okay? Okay, so that's going to cook in a minute. So, okay, so now. So um, you can make granola bars. I'll be right back. I can't believe this. Okay, so what you can do is you make your own and you can freeze them. And then you can crumble these granola bars up and eat them like cereal with milk. Uh, let me show you one. Uh, and these are very easy to make. And the point of this is you're going to go through a lot of oatmeal when you start eating this stuff. And it's good. So I was studying the Scientology meal plan. And so uh, their snacks were granola bars and fruit cups. And so here is my, instead of fruit cups, I made, because I have it on hand and I haven't found a really good, uh, a really good, um, here is the Jello. One half was homemade yogurt and one half, okay, it's lemon Jello with a third cup of um, fruit cocktail, one half homemade yogurt, one half cottage cheese with walnuts. Okay, so I want to show you what I got. I got free at the gym. Okay, <laughs> we get points <coughs> for doing stuff. So I'm thinking a few points here and a few points there. No, I had tons of, I've had thousands of points. So I just cash in a few. I got two of these really nice protein bars. I got two, this is the good stuff, two of these beef sticks. And I got, this is the best protein drink they make. So I got, I got six items. Sometimes I buy them and uh, I'm refrigerating everything because I'm going to give those to my son for a little treat. So, okay, so here is the cereal that's going to be done in a minute or two. Okay. And then there's yogurt. You know, I make the homemade yogurt with uh, fruit. It could be um, anything. It could be um, apples. I love apples and yogurt with granola bars on top. Or it could be gran 
apples with um, cottage cheese and granola bars or walnuts is really good too. So you have your oatmeal on top uh, on hand. So you can make you can grind your oatmeal into flour and make oatmeal pancakes and muffins and you can grind this like a uh, flour and use that like flour so it's cheaper. In the day if you don't have milk you could put butter, salt and pepper on the top. Or a lot of times in my family, they used to uh, crumble uh, bacon. So that is very tasty too. I'm looking for some tea. I guess I don't have any tea. Wow, poor me. Okay, well, I have pickle juice. So if you have vinegar, lemon, lime, pickle juice, um, that is antibacterial. And then there's oatmeal cookies. Okay, then the next thing I stockpiled, now I'm not stockpiling a lot. I stockpiled cornmeal because I can make, if I have to eat beans and rice, I can have uh, some cornbread, but also something that's very important is cornmeal mush, and you can eat that just like oatmeal. Tortillas. Today I had um, I had salsa, so I I had some left. I ate this whole can in about a week. That's another thing I want to uh, I want to uh, stock up on, and I had bought a tortilla chips, but I could make my own with um, salsa. That is a good meal. And then in my freezer, I had made beef jerky. Here it is, I have two pieces left. I am going to be going through my freezer and I am going to be dehydrating the meat. And then with the oatmeal, I put about two tablespoons of sugar. Where did I put the sugar? Oh, here's the tortilla chips. So chips can be expensive. So I had chips and salsa. And uh, if you want to move a little bit towards gluten-free, you can do corn, corn chips. Okay, so now I want to put two table, and I always forget to tell you guys this when I make it. I show you how I make it. So about two uh, tablespoons of uh, uh, sugar. And I usually me measure everything. So uh, tortilla chips and salsa chips. Also, I have in the stockpile grits, and I usually buy these on sale, but the, the flavored ones are the best. So that's the corn stuff. And corn is very important if you should be reduced to eating rice and beans. It's not a bad option. Uh, it's really not. It's not too expensive. So uh, two tablespoons is an eighth cup. So I bought this uh, sugar one time pretty cheap. I bought a lot. Okay, now it's starting to look good. That's why I did this because I wanna show you guys. You can also drink this if you want. Okay, so uh, grits, I, I make a package. I usually get this kind, I put butter on the top. I put eggs, sometimes hot sauce, two sausages or two, um, two um, pieces of bacon. Um, and then on the salsa, I want to buy two cans of salsa at a time until I get about six because I eat a lot of salsa. Okay, so this was, so the two things I bought today were the cornmeal and I went through my stockpile and I have this is all I have but I want to make sure I have enough to last me about uh, six months and uh, it's more food than you would think so what I'm doing is I'm going through that would be breakfast 
I like omelets right now for breakfast, but in an emergency, I might not. And then if you buy one of these, these are not too cheap. These are $6, but this is enough for two weeks, so $3 per week. And, uh, you know, cream of wheat. A lot of the bodybuilders, all right, take a look at this. So, you know, you're not going to be eating slop. That's plenty of food. You won't be starving. That's the whole idea. So, we're going, okay, breakfast. Would, I have food for breakfast. And here's the milk from uh, Smart and Final. Okay, I want to give you the, uh, okay, let me give you the granola recipe. I want to mention about yesterday, instead of honey, I used pancake syrup. Instead of oil, I used butter, and I added one half teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I added the peanut butter, and then I added the oatmeal. So you're going through uh, three cups of oatmeal at a time. And believe me, if you want a little snack and you have your uh, granola bars and milk, and let me give you the homemade yogurt recipe. All you need is one uh, carton, a little one of yogurt, and you need one can of evaporated milk that's why i like to a lot of people eat um yogurt as opposed to milk on their food not sure why i have to flip on the air it's hot i don't want to let my house get too hot because then it just costs more money to heat it okay so now i'm going towards the scientology lunch which would be sandwiches which would be lunch meat, it would be tuna, it would be peanut butter, and I added pizzas. They're, they're legitimate sandwiches. Okay, so I bought um, some uh, sourdough English muffins at uh, Ralph's. I'm getting, I thought, why are you even considering buying a uh, pizza? You have everything to make yourself a pizza. And I also bought a loaf of bread. So I want to toast my bread a little bit before I put the pizza sauce on. Uh, I was going to buy pizza sauce, but it was very expensive. So I, I got this at, at uh, Dollar Tree for $1.25. Okay, so now I will make, I want to use the speedy pizza recipe, but it could be tuna fish. I find yellow uh, fin tuna fish, and then it should be the best, and then it could be peanut butter. I make my own, so what I wanted to do was go through my food storage. This is why my food, so I have peanuts, which I can use. I have um, sunflower seeds. Uh, you can add half and half. I have, I need this. Uh, this is some papayas or, or some, um, some mangoes dehydrated. And this was some coconut. We'll get into that in a minute. So um, with the coconut, so for lunch, we're just trying to stockpile lunch meat. So what I'm gonna be doing is going through my freezer and I'm just gonna stack the lunch meat on top of each other to see exactly how much I have. And then at one point, I bought a case of tuna, but if you can't afford a case, just buy the packets or a couple of uh, cans. And then, I, and then jam, I usually buy that at Dollar Tree. And uh, here is my, uh, this is a bag of dehydrated fruit. So are my muffins not yet. Okay, so that's for the peanut butter. But jars, see how good my oatmeal looks? You can add more milk, but you don't need to. So it's only a quarter cup of milk. And this is some mozzarella cheese. And so all, I was looking for a big bag of cheese and I got this two pound bag of mozzarella cheese. I think it was last week. 
Okay, no, I want to make the sticky rice. I want to teach you guys this. This is a cheat meal. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get cheat meals and we want storable meals. So one of the things to stockpile is rice. And so uh, one of the cheat meals that I like eating, it's a form of sticky rice. It's not 100% correct, but it's good. I want to teach you guys my ways. I guarantee you there there's people out there watching this and it's really helping them. Okay, now this is coconut. Ah, I just spilled it all over myself. I was hoping this was going to cool enough so you could see that there's going to be some coconut oil on top. Here it is. And so I had a little bit of coconut. I'm going to be buying a big here is the uh, cake mix cookie, and I just put a half a cup of coconut um, coconut in it. I'm going to be buying a big package of coconut. So, okay, I have, um, where's that round thing? You cannot lose a big round thing easily, but it can obviously be done. Oh my God, okay, this is a plate. Okay, so uh, I have a quarter cup, I made a lot, usually I only make three tablespoons, a quarter cup rice, and then I took my um, dehydrated, don't tell me it's on the plate. Oh no. Oh no, I put it in here. Okay, well, at least that means that the mangoes are around here somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, here they are. Okay. And here, uh, I'm going to be buying big ones. I usually buy... Okay, oh, back to this. This was... I bought this at Walmart, and this lasted a long time. You can add sugar to that. And so I bought big bags of... of dehydrated fruit and I took all the raisins all the nuts and eventually I get around to eating it all so why this rice that I want to teach you is good is because if time okay so I think these are papayas all right so you know here's a banana chip not an important recipe actually it is because this is going to help so much if you have to eat, you have to rely on some cheap food like rice and also you can eat coconut milk on your uh your oatmeal you just get a half a can of coconut and you cover it with water and when the water starts looking milky and boil it down add a little bit more of water at a time boiling it down and then when it gets really really soft put it in a blender and blend 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 and then uh, strain it and you're going to have some good coconut uh, milk i'm going to be um getting my own coconuts uh, believe it or not your coconuts can go bad so then just pour a little bit of coconut, and this is gonna have some good fat for you too. Uh, the coconut milk in a can, this is kinda like the coconut milk in the can, and then put your uh, mangoes on top. And then in your stockpile, if you have sardines, you're gonna be able to get by. So that's a good little meal in times, you know, so I don't want my um, followers, uh-oh. I don't want my followers going hungry. Okay, so now, owie. This is how I got these burns on my arms. 
So now, for, so today's lunch is going to be a sandwich, and it's going to be uh, some homemade pizzas. If you toast them, I think this is one of the first um, Dollar Tree, and then you can make some, you can keep making uh, pizzas for lunch, and then when you cook it down, then you can um, make a little batch of pasta because the Scientology meal plan can be pasta with sauce. Oh my God. You cannot believe the terrible messes I make. Oh my God. Not to speak of, now I have ants. I will take care of the ants pretty soon. I want to show you guys what happened. This was not good. I took my pepper plant out from out back because the plants were were wilting and last night something ate all the leaves off. So what happened is I had put um, pesticide on the plant, but when I cut the top off to harvest the uh, peppers, there were some new shoots and something in my front yard. I saw a lizard eating my plants. I couldn't believe it. I go, I don't believe this. Uh, so this is to do with crop failure, which is why we're doing this too. So we have uh, sticky rice. Believe it or not, just this is a nice little bowl of food too. It's sweet, but not sickeningly sweet, and it's very good with sardines. Also, I messed this up. I got the floral tape. I'm going to be posting my uh, flower arrangement video. I got that at Dollar Tree. I messed that up bad too. It's very hard when you're... So uh, your lunch is tuna sandwiches, peanut butter and jam, pizzas, and then the sticky rice. Now, um, so the cake mix cookies had um, a half a cup of coconut, and then you can put, uh, you can put your coconut in um, you can put your coconut in, um, your granola too. Anything you have that might taste good in granola. Uh, the cinnamon was really good in those pancake syrup granolas. I like to include, uh, the recipes in all of the videos because you never know uh, how they're going to feed. Uh-oh, they're perfect. All right, so now uh, for lunch. There you go. Uh, cheese is fine. So we've had a few recipes. We've had the oatmeal, we've had the pizzas, and we've had the sticky rice, and we've had the pickle juice. This is not too bad. I thought I would hate it. I will drink a little each day because I hate being sick. Okay, so um, as soon as I correct my X a little bit, I will put the flower arrangement, here's the flower arrangement, video on X. Okay, so one of the reasons, just like showing you all the bad things of it, all my plants are either inside now some of my tomato plants are out front. I'm surprised they have any leaves. So we have to think about crop failure. Could that happen? Yes, it's happened two years now here. Okay, I wanna to talk to you about these businesses. You're going, oh, these businesses are going out of uh, business. Not so fast. Yesterday I went to the Goodwill. I left, I didn't get my book, I went back to get it, and they said they didn't have it, and I know they did. I paid $5.99, and I didn't get my book. And furthermore, the book had a value of about $62, but that's not the point, because just because some nut says $62 doesn't mean anyone's going to pay that. So why this is pertinent to businesses that are likely to fail at that thrift store, here is $100 worth of comic books I bought there. 
all kinds of them. Also, it was not unusual for me to roll in there and spend 100, maybe $200 on junk jewelry. Now the junk jewelry is junk, you guys. So uh, out of the junk, here's a few of the vintage watches. I didn't buy these at that so the point being is don't whine when you you treat your good customers bad some of us also i won't be i won't be donating there anymore and for, i told you i just donated seven loads of stuff so here is a nice vintage watch uh that i bought but mind you in addition to these watches I might have bought hundreds of pounds of crap. I sell it at the swap meet sometimes. So this is what I do for a living. I just bought this. This is a Pulsar watch in pristine condition. This is pretty. I love these princess style watches. From time to time, I sell them. Uh, never, as long as I've been alive yet, have I had to sell any of my stuff because I really needed the money. So when you see these, ah, uh, salons were famous for this. Not only did they treat us stylists very poorly, I'm sure it trickled down to the clients. And trust me, my clients were gonna like them. Okay, now I wanna talk to you about Scientology. I've been studying. I think I'm getting somewhere to this. Boy, I wish I wouldn't. Uh, drinking pickle juice is okay. I'm trying to drink caffeine-free Coke. It's really helping. Plus, at my age, I don't think I should be going out late at night. Is this thing going? All right, that's good. I need a, a new phone, you guys. That's why the, the, the light is off. But I'm trying to wait for the AI phone. I got really pissed off at the AI, and I, I wrote a bunch of, uh, like, a like uh, abusive stuff and it gave me time out so then it was really really dumb and i said i'm gonna have to give you time out and so the day i did the most hilarious thing i thought i'm gonna try the lovey-dovey approach if you would like to see what happened go to my instagram rota stone instagram it's just like fun okay i'm studying um i'm getting somewhere also with the diet so the diet for your veggies are green beans, peas, and carrots, and simple salads. So today, I wanted to uh, stockpile up uh, some green beans. So uh, the thing about green beans is in these green beans, so uh, here are some green beans, but I wanted to mention to you it's well worth growing green beans because if you have a little bacon or ham, you put your uh, green beans, some, a little garlic, salt, and pepper, and some bacon or ham, and you cook them down just like a, a pan of beans, and then you make cornbread. And then I bought some uh, Persian pickles to make some, Persian cucumbers to make some pickles, or just to make a simple salad. And then one of the things, the, the bell peppers were two for a dollar, so I thought I will buy those because when I'm eating the hamburger, I think you might as well make a stuffed pepper. Okay, so now I want to talk about what I think is going on, and it took me a while to get to this. Why? What are the Scientologists doing? And it's not that far off. Uh, I mean, I've been in studying religions that do this too. Okay, the point you're doing when you're going up these levels is you're trying to get to the point what they say is that it's it's a form of you will never die. Okay, the Christians go, you, there's a point in time to live and there is an appointed time to die. And what they're saying is if you get to the high enough levels you will come back in your body wherever you want around the universe you and your body will not die but 
okay, when you sign these contracts, so I was thinking about this because I find it fascinating. You signed these contracts for a billion years, right? So I had a dream and it was like a contract with a big hand and a pair of scissors. And I go, no, you signed the contract. You have to stay to it because I watched these people. And so what they were saying is that finally they got to the point where they decided that there was nothing higher than the eight level. But what I think happens is when you break the contract, that's as high as you can go. So then I had a dream and they talk about falling into this pit. And so in my dream, I must have fallen into the pit. And on the, and so survival is the big thing in the religion. So there was a tall ladder and I climbed as high as I could go and there was a hand reaching down, but I couldn't get it. I had that dream first. So in my dream, I'm reasoning and I'm going, and I look down and there seemed to be like um, a civilization of blonde people. And it reminded me of, of I used to study um, super soldiers. It reminded me of Mars, what they describe Mars. So the, I said in my dream, well, I will just stay here on top of this ladder. If I'm in hell, I will try to get out as long as it takes and I'll be very, very miserable. And so my plan was to stay at the top of the ladder. So then when I said, I'm not going to break a contract if I had one, because that I promised, uh, it occurred to me that if I climbed to the top of the ladder and my arms were at the, my feet were on the top rung, I could reach the hand. And I am pretty sure I would ne that would never have occurred to me. So like this, even though you can say that is a bunch of malarkey, that is not the point. After having these dreams, I am thinking different. Okay, so that was very interesting. So now, have any of you ever experienced deja vu? It's very uncommon, but it's happened to me once in a while. Now let me taste you know, don't split hairs, you know. I was taking this class, I was taking a biology class in the North County. So I uh, went to work at the salon and I thought, well, uh, this is pretty bad. But it was a nice area in the North County. And I was under this tree and I thought, wow, this is like I've always been here, which was weird. It was like deja vu. Well, now think about, okay, think about the hand, the big hand. I don't think it was God. <laughs> Quite the contrary, I think it was Lucifer. So anyway, probably not a good idea to break your contracts, but that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking you promised, you got your training, you know, okay, so that, and then I thought easy for you to say. So anyway, so uh, think about angels. I have seen, seen a few myself. I know that I know what an angel looks like. I've seen them, some are big. And then, uh, so now back to this, you could, this is why I kind of, this is not, they say as soon as you die, you'll go immediately into um, another body. And so my dad died and I go, I like this idea. But I saw, it was just the other day up at the store, go, a person sitting under the tree that looked like my dad's relatives. And I knew it was a person, but it, and then it was gone. I knew it was some kind of a angel type person. So if you think about it, this is a person who had came back and you could say, well, that was a devil, possibly, but it was a personage, let's say that. Okay, now I wanna talk about, uh, ad, okay, the AI is like human-like. And then there are dogs, they're called canis beans, and they're bipedal wolves, they stand on two uh, legs. And I had a dream 
of a dog standing on two feet looking into somebody's house. I go, that's creepy. Also, pigs. I had a dream that when the evergreen was large, there was a pig with a human-like consciousness. Do I believe that, that pigs have been cloned or yes? Uh, you know, like hybrids. Also, I had um, a dream of dogs that were like chipped. I think these are real dogs. So I want to, okay, so now don't kill me. This is just, also the pickle juice is not any medical advice. If you want to try it, try it. If you don't want to try it, I would suggest having some tea on hand. Okay, to replace electrolytes. I'm going to drink that. It's not going to kill me. All right, I want to talk about weight training. I, I got somewhere today because, as usual, I was talking a lot. So one of the men there became a very prominent bodybuilder. His, his body was on a big poster in Times Square. And I said, my gosh, that is so impossible. Did you have, like, resources to do that? And he said, well, I had a personal trainer. And, and then he had like a meal plan. And then, you know, he had this desire to do it, to help others. So that's probably, but still it's very impossible to do it. So I thought, well, I'm not hiring a trainer, but I did search out trainers on YouTube. I'm not saying no to the trainer. And then one of the men, had a heart surgery and his cardiologist said if you don't want alzheimer's if you don't want dementia walk 45 uh, minutes a day to get oxygen to your you know to help heal your heart and i thought i am going to take his cardiologist's advice today i walk 30 minutes and then i lost my patience but i'm going to work up to 45 minutes a day and weight training um, so I'm going to be reducing sugar, reducing gluten. Then I started talking to this young girl and she was next to me and I said, my gosh, how long have you been doing this? She goes, not long. And she was like doing these heavy lifts. So I was doing this one exercise with a hundred pounds and I thought I'm going to try to up it to 120 and I did three and I told her I just did three of them because I was watching you. And she said, well, I feel so much better because I had um, pain in my feet. And uh, by going gluten-free, it, it's gone and sugar-free. And I thought, and it sounded like she had all the same biomarkers as I did. And I go, I will reduce gluten, uh, corn flour, not entirely because I don't like any, you know, things like that. Okay, so now... For the gluten-free, you can still have rice, corn, potatoes, sweet potatoes, yams, buckwheats, on flour, coconut flour, rice flour, chickpea flour, tapioca, potatoes, legumes and beans, lentils, chickpeas, black peas, kidney beans, peas, and oatmeal. So there's still plenty of carbs that you can have. I'm not, you know, I'm not doing away with bread. Um, I bought two loaves of bread this week. I want to say something. If you should ever have to eat beans and rice, God forbid, I always tell my son, make sure you have potatoes. French fries. You can make um, potato soup. You can put clams or oysters. Just dump the whole can in. Um, you can make um, hash browns and eggs. Okay, so uh, I was watching this older woman, this older bodybuilding woman, and she wasn't lifting very heavy weights, but she's a pescatarian. I thought, yeah, I see a lot of them are vegetarians, but this young girl goes, she's eating a lot of meat. And so, you know, I don't mind eggs and the omelets work for me. And so um, it was this pescatarian weight trainer. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep your strength, you know, as you get older. Protein, she had cods, carrots, eggs, and eggs whites. I think the, uh, the omelets suit me with two eggs so much better than egg whites. 
tuna, salmon, and oatmeal. So it's, it's not more expensive. So once you start stockpiling your food, if some recession hits and you have food in your house and all you have to do is buy a little bit of lettuce, uh, buy the meat marked down, it's gonna be so much better. It's gonna help you hang on to your car. It's gonna help you pay your bills. And uh, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all. Bye, you guys. Keep stockpiling a little food like a squirrel.